but she was going to the hole and she was taking advantage of some missed opportunities. Great putbacks by Brittany Hernandez. They were doing a good job on the offensive glass early. They hit a couple of threes, but in a 33-32 game, not a lot of shots are falling. Hernandez 4-9 of the opening half. She had nine points to go along with six rebounds. And see Mia Carter off the bench. Uh, she had six points, in, six points in six minutes. And, and she pounded on CSU Pueblo's bigs at six foot three. Showing some finesse there with the right hand. And then the takeaway. UCCS forcing four turnovers at a good front there by Hernandez. Just good, solid UCCS defense in your face. Going to make you play and earn every point. And Brittany Hernandez, the preseason player of the year in terms of defense. And there's Shana Leaf, really went to work in the low block, scoring and assisting. Yeah, they, they, they list her with zero assists, but we saw two right there on the on the highlight package. And just a strong move inside with the right hand. And uh, Shana Leaf, again, great move in the low post. 11 points for the junior out of Palmer High School. Under 20%, 16% the opening half. And a giveaway there by CSU Pueblo. Kelly with the right hand and one. Pushed off, gave a little separation with the right elbow, but a good job finishing by the senior out of Pine Creek High School. Ashley Piper just too physical on that right and, and certainly a nice adjustment defensively. Jim Turgeon and company. And up and in. D. Arietta. And it's a one point Thunderwolf lead. Go. Great look there by V Hill, but better defense. Great takeaway there by CSU Pueblo. And up ahead. That's the leading scorer. Two lays, Sue Anderson and one. Well, she can get going in a hurry. She's in double figures with 10, chance to make it 11. By Tule Sue. She gets the ball and she's gone. She doesn't slow up to look for teammates, runs the length of the floor. Chance for a three point. Joe at all start. Fisher down low, doubled up, turns, denied. Second block of the game by Molly Roar. The three ball up and in. Well, what an answer. Big. Good look by Roar. Wide open three, splashing in. Maddie Beagley, big play on the defensive end, a couple of cut off. Inside out, back into Brittany. Oh, nice cut. And the finish, Shannon Kelly. Down by four, Ramirez, long pass to Fisher. Torrey goes away with the right hand and a pretty finish. Nice to see her play well. It's third quarter. Playing with a five point advantage off the hesitation, the drive, and the roll. Mariana Lambert in seconds of this third quarter. Open look for three, and they get another one. That's what they want from the Brazilian. Just that something's not right. She has been special this season, and tonight had nine points. And how about a three from Jenna Carafo? Boy, credit CSU Pueblo. They have forced a lot of those tough misses for UCCS, and Anderson continues to get with the lead up by seven. CSU club on the defensive end. Ramirez, Fisher, a little back and forth on that left oh. side. Good pass inside. Unguarded and scoring at Shannon Kelly. Start to work the clock, not the case. Piper drives and misses. Offensive rebound and one. Torrey Fisher, chance for the three-point play with 8.17 to go. Going to work on a pulse with the left hand. How pretty was that? Two on two. And CSU Pueblo on a block by Hernandez. Point lead. Hernandez really cutting Roar down low. They'll try the other side. Anderson rattles it in. Two lay Sue Anderson. To Anderson. They got more in the post. Step back. She's had that kind of an eye. Angie Moore. She's in double figures with 10. Half. Law pass wide open Leaf. And good recovery by Moore. Leaf wins the battle. Oh, Sims Anderson. Piper off the ball fake. Drive and gets the roll. Hernandez double gets the pass off. Ramirez floats it up and in. Gabby Ramirez with 2.10 to go on a timeout called by Sean Nelson. A 30-second timeout here. Ramirez 
looking to her left, up top. Long three, cut off, oh, no good. They got the good look, but it did not fall. What an effort tonight for CSU Pueblo. A gutsy win here at home. Defense gets it done. Your head coach, Jim Turgeon, great win for CSU Pueblo tonight. Two-point win. You knew coming in it was going to be a, a close physical game. Talk about the defensive effort your team showed tonight. Well, it's just terrific. I mean, they were av they're scoring like 75 points a game. Um, I can't remember what the final was now, but our girls really fought. And the big thing is they, they play defense without fouling. And we had to do that because they're a very good free throw shooting team. They're number one in, in, in free throw percentage, too. So I just can't say enough about our girls. And we keep having injuries and we keep having other people step up, and I'm just so happy for them. And speaking of free throws, the number one free throw shooting team tonight was you, and that was the difference. Absolutely. That hasn't been that way all year. Uh, last weekend, we did pretty good at the free throw line. We were 12 out of 13 against Mesa. I don't know what we were tonight, but we hit the free throws tonight. And the thing is, getting to the free throw two line, too, you know, you got to be aggressive so we get the fouls, and I thought our girls did that. All right, Coach, congratulations. Josh, back to you.